In this class, we'll start designing the inside of the hairdryer and create the ribs and inside shell. We'll split the hairdryer into two sections and then create the fittings. Let's begin the class and we'll now create the split. Activate split and then in Feature Manager, click the right plane. After that, click Cut Part. See how two separate bodies have been generated. Then select one of the bodies on the resulting body's flyout for splitting. So, we'll click Body 1 and confirm the command. See, there are two separate bodies in the Solid Bodies option. Now, we'll create the shell on the bodies. Open Features on the body by double-clicking Solid Bodies. Right-click the mouse on the first feature. Select the Hide option. Activate the Shell command. Select the faces from where a material will be removed. Activate Show Preview. Change the wall thickness to 1 mm. Look at the preview and confirm. Then, let's create the shell on the other body. Right-click the mouse on Feature to hide the Solid Bodies option. Select Show to display it again. And now, let's hide another feature. Now, repeat the same procedure for creating the shell on this solid. After the shells are created, let's model the ribs. We can see the hidden solid in the Solid Bodies option. And hide the other, which was already visible. Let's create a reference plane based on the right plane. After the Offset Distance option is selected, change the distance to 3 mm. Enable Flip and Confirm. And in this plane, we'll insert a sketch. Activate the Line command. Draw three lines as shown here. Insert the dimensions using Smart Dimensions. Mm -hmm. 
activate rib to create the ribs. Look at the preview. Select the first side option on the parameter flyout so the rib can be generated only on one side. Change the thickness to 1 mm. Select the selected body box and click the body where the rib will be generated, in this case the hair dryer. Confirm the command. Great, we have created the ribs for splitting the hair dryer assemblies. In the next classes we'll draw the holes for the wiring to go through, fittings and the final details. So, in this class you have studied the shell and rib commands for creating shells and ribs in SOLIDWORKS 2010.